Now that I've finished building all the LEGO Harry Potter sets for the Summer Wave, I've had a little extra time on my hands. I've been trying out some new magic. Stick around as I review the Goblet of Fire. Hey there everyone, my name is Perry and welcome to The Potter Addict. Now, my collection is a little immature. Uh, it's a growing collection, but it primarily focuses around Lego and Funko. Uh, I've got other things, wands and gentle giant uh, busts and pins and a few, few other things, but I need to add a little bit more maturity to my collection. So today, I've got the first piece uh, to, uh, to add that maturity. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, Goblet of Fire. And there are three versions of the Goblet of Fire. There's the NECA version, which is more like a, uh, almost like a ceramic uh, type uh, Goblet of Fire. I mean, it's almost painted. It looks a, a little bit different. Not exactly my favorite one. There's the uh, Royal Selanger uh, version, which is uh, produced uh, in pewter. Uh, it's got a wooden base to it, and it, um, you know, it, it's really nice. It's done in limited edition, so I mean, it comes with a, a you know, number of, um, you know, how many were produced and everything on it. But the version that I honestly liked the most was the one that was produced by Warner Brothers. Now it's no longer available, and I found somebody online that was willing to let it go for a pretty good deal. So I decided to pick this one up for my collection, and I've got a few other things on the horizon that I'm going to share with you guys that are coming, but um, I really do like this piece. It, uh, it turned out a little bit nicer than what I was expecting. Um, so let's take a look. Whoa. All right. So Again, this was a Warner Brothers produced uh, 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 piece. And I mean, if you see down here, I mean, it's got the Warner Brothers logo uh, on the box. I mean, other than that, with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, I mean, there's not much else special about the actual box. But the piece inside is an absolute beast. Uh, as tiny as this thing is, this thing is heavy. I mean, it's got some girth. And the thing I liked about this version of the cup more so than the other versions, number one, I love the pewter. I mean, it is it is a heavy, heavy, solid piece. I mean, you can feel the quality built into this thing. But on top of that, if you look at the details, I mean, if you go back and watch the movies and you look at the details of the cup, I mean, it's here, the little cracks, the, the lettering around the rim, um, I mean, the, uh, just the, the, the detail, but the back is what I really like about this one more so than, than the others. I mean, on the back of this, it is really just kind of just rough, and it looks like it, it was, you know, starting to get grown over um, by, I, I don't know, but I mean, just, I mean, little, little, there's, just things growing out of the back that I can't really describe to you. It's hard, but hopefully the video will transfer the, the detail so that you can really appreciate um, how pretty this thing is. Now, it is smaller than what I expected. I actually did expect something a little bit bigger, but um, I believe that the NECA version is bigger than this one. But again, I really love the detail of this one. Um, and I think that it is it is definitely my favorite of the three. Now, I've not seen the NECA one in person, but who knows? I mean, I, I, I made a decision. I could have picked up the NECA one instead of this one, and I might eventually pick up the NECA one. Uh, but this one, in my opinion, the, the Warner Brothers one, I mean, is, is definitely my favorite. And if you look on the inside, uh, you can see 
down in there, possibly, maybe, maybe not in this video. Um, it's a tough one to see, but you can see the, the Warner Brothers um, stamp on the inside and everything. So this is, again, a really nice piece, a good addition to my collection, something I didn't have. And who doesn't like the Goblet of Fire? I mean, the Goblet of Fire is when the series kind of started to take a turn, like a step towards a darker theme. I mean, Cedric Diggory dies in this one. So, I mean, honestly, it's when the movie did start to go a little bit darker. So, um, in my opinion, a good addition to my collection. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the cup? Uh, this is a short video this week. I've had some serious issues with uh, with my computer. Editing has not been fun, and I've got another video that is honestly being the most difficult of all the ones that I've edited. Um, thought it was going to be easy. Turned out to be a nightmare. So we're going to keep this one short and sweet, and I will have this one easily up for you guys by Friday. Um, but um, what's a goblet of fire? without a little bit of fire. So um, please like, subscribe, leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought of, uh, of the Goblet of Fire. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.